welcome to the latest video showing cooking with Mr Parsons and this week we are making pumpkin soup. Before we start we need to think about health and safety. So make sure you've washed your hands thoroughly before you start and if you need to sneeze or cough make sure you catch your sneeze or cough and then wash your hands straight away again. I'm wearing my apron so make sure you're protecting your clothes and obviously you're going to have to work with an adult whenever there are sharp knives heat or using the blender. So just make sensible precautions and make sure an adult is with you all the time. Well, I was planning to make pumpkin soup, but I went to go and get some pumpkins today from the pumpkin farm and it was pouring with rain and really muddy. So I've ended up changing my mind and using one of these. This is a butternut squash. It's part of the squash family, just like a pumpkin, and it will taste just the same. So I'm still going to call it pumpkin soup, even though I'm using a butternut squash. So let's have a look at what we need to get started. We need one pumpkin. We need some salt. We're going to use two pinches of salt. We're going to use two litres of water. I also need a sharp knife, a wooden spoon, a big cooking pot or saucepan, and I need a blender at the end. First thing we need to do is prepare our pumpkin. Now this is quite hard work. I'm going to need my sharp knife and I'm going to take my pumpkin and I'm going to first of all cut it up into large chunks. And you can see inside it's full of seeds. So I'm going to cut that up now into chunks. Stop that. Now I've finished slicing it up, I need to remove all the pips and the pit from inside. So I'm going to carefully use my knife and always cutting away from myself, I'm going to cut around like so. And I should be able to push out the seeds and scrape out the pith. I need to remove all of that pith from inside. And next, I'm going to use my knife to very carefully remove the peel. So I need to peel off. Now I could use a peeler for this, or I can use a sharp knife. I'm nearly there with the preparation. I just need to dice and chop up the, the um, pumpkin. So here is all my pieces. I carefully cut it into slices. I have removed the seeds and the pith. Some of the slices don't have any seeds and pith in this butternut squash. And now I need to chop it up into chunks. This one's nice and easy because I can just chop around. My pieces need to be roughly two centimetre cubes, but it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, I think I'm ready to start cooking. I have prepared all the pumpkin. So that's one pumpkin, roughly chopped. I've got my two litres of cold water and some salt. I place the pumpkin in the pan. I add two litres of cold water. For the salt, I'm not going to measure the salt exactly, I'm going to use pinches of salt. So here's one pinch of salt and another one. Give it a stir with my wooden spoon. Put on the lid. Turn on the heat. And I'm going to bring that up to the boil. The soup has now come to the boil. So I'm going to turn down the heat. And I 
going to simmer that until the pumpkin is cooked. It should take about 15 minutes. So that's my 15 minutes up. So let's have a look. Let's see how it's cooked. What I need to do is make sure that the pumpkin is soft and I can see that it is soft. I can crush it against the side of the pan. So I'm gonna leave that now to cool before I blend it. Okay, I think it's cool enough now for me to be able to blend it. So I'm gonna use this hand blender and I'm gonna put it in here very carefully and start to mix it up. It's gonna be quite noisy. Okay, I think that's probably just about enough. I think we're nearly ready to serve. Now I like my soup quite watery, but if you'd like yours a bit thicker, you just have to put in less water at the beginning, maybe one litre. I like to serve mine with some crusty bread. So let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, lovely pumpkin soup.